can achieve mouse precision with a controller with motion controls, but it can be a little difficult to get used to, so here are some games to get you up and running with motion controls. This list will only feature games with official native support to motion control, but if you are on PC, you can set it up yourself by following my guide linked in the description. Number 5 any game with partial motion controls. What I mean by that? The Last of Us Part 2, The Last of Us Part 1, Zelda Breath of the Wild, Horizon Forbidden West, God of War Ragnarok, and Days Gone only uses gyro when you press the aim button. Other games in this list will have gyro always on. Unfortunately, many games that officially support this don't give you some very important settings, like the ones to change between y'all and row modes. But still, it's a very good way to get used to motion controls. Number 4. Portal 1 and 2, aka the Companion Collection. Portal is no stranger to motion controls. In fact, the PS3 had a campaign exclusive to move controllers and the PC got two motion controls DLCs. Portal needs no introduction, a classic with one of the best writings in any game of all time. You start by completing simple and slow-paced puzzles, and as the game goes on, you will slowly need more speed and precision. You will need to set up gyro yourself if you are on PC, because the game already has gyro support, but the settings are very weird. So you can just export my config. So the fact that the settings of this game are a little bit wonky in the PC version put this game in the fourth place. Number 3. Deathloop. With official support on consoles and PC, many settings, flick stick support, this game has it all when it comes to motion controls. What? You don't know what flick stick is? Well, that's a subject for another video, but I'll say that Flickstick lets you snap the camera to any angle, enabling much faster and precise aim. In this game, you are trapped in a time loop, and you must kill all the bosses in one day without dying to break the death loop. With many guns and powers at your disposal, you need to die over and over again until you perfect your run, which is perfect to master motion controls. Number 2. Fortnite do I really need to say anything about Fortnite? This game also has flick stick. You can use gyro all the time, you can use it only when you're aiming or when building, you can use it yaw and romo, this game has it all. Playing against with other people online can be stressful, especially when you're trying to master a new control scheme. But Fortnite has many other modes, and the best part, you can learn it with your friends. Number 1. The One. And only the one that introduced me and many others to motion controls, Splatoon. Splatoon is a multiplayer 4 vs 4 game. Whoever paints more of the stage wins. Again, the online nature can be a little stressful, but that's where the single player comes in. The single player campaign is basically a glorified tutorial, and a very fun one at that. Most players are also playing with motion controls, so almost everyone in the community can help you because they pass through the same learning process as you. And that's it! 5 games to learn motion controls. For more motion control games and tips, follow Flickstick videos everywhere!